What's up guys, welcome back. Yone top lane is not something I play very often. It's been a while actually, but it's really fun. But it's also very hard because a lot of the champions in the top lane just absolutely counter you. Like insanely hard. So it will be interesting to see if we can actually survive this. Aatrox, we will be needing anti-healing for this guy. Otherwise, he just perma heals. Gonna get a little too soon. Has to make absolutely sure you don't tank like the outer edges of his Qs. Because that's why you start getting hard destroyed. Also, when he uses the passive on the minions, that's a good chance to like trade with him. But we honestly just want to farm up and not fight if we can. Should I go mid? Dancing. As usual. We do have the scaling of the Vladimir. Which is going to be really nice. Oh, what? Does that work? What? Legit, man. What was that? I think I eat out too early, so the CC was still there. I did not know it worked like that. We need anti-healing. Also, I'll be going for the tank build. Oh my god, really? That actually worked out, what? Bro, actually worked out. That's one of the few cases where using E actually saves you instead of getting you killed. Oh nice. So Hikarim got a kill back for dying early on. I'm gonna go Berserkers into Blade, into Sunfire, into Mortal Reminder. Because Prusa can heals a lot, Aatrox heals a lot, and also Nami healing. And GPW. Lots of healing on that team that you want to deny. It's kind of CP, I want to show it in as fast as possible. Alright, let's get out. Free reset. If we go even, that's a big win. Like, that's a massive win. But you have to use your E to like dodge his outer Q when he like tries to dash and reposition it. That's when you have to be really good at using that E to like dodge it. If you do so, then you can kite the rest of his Qs. Ah, oh, sad. So close, man. That's so sad. What does he have? Double long swords. Level six now. So not something we want to mess with, especially not without anti healing. But if we can farm for free, man, then just take it. No need to go for risks. Like I do all the time. Really no reason to, if you can farm up for free. Looking through minions, then we don't get the minion aggro. 
Lol. What? <laughs> what? Is he that scared, bro? He's so scared. What, man? You are playing the winning matchup. How can you be so scared, bro? I think maybe he thought that Hegrim was here. You get the counter pick and then you just run away on every chance. Well, I'll take it, man. That's gonna help me stall once I get my items. Like, it's so fun when you get Blade of the Ruin King on your name. Because it gives you such a strong one item spike. Where is the jungler? The cane? Perfect hiding, and now that he doesn't have the ultimate up, you don't have to worry that much. But the cane, though. Take the Drake. So I'll use that chance to get the ward down. He could be doing the Herald Soldier's check just in case. Not. Ah, uh, Draven. Help. Help him, guys. Okay, we got the Drake. Does he survive? Nope. Because Raven did not move. Sad. Let's go and reset. It's a cannon wave. Vladimir scaling up. So that's all great. Let's do like this. Some Mensa healing. And then it's gonna be into Blade of the Ruin King. Into Sunfire. Into Mortal Reminder, I think. It's not a full tank, but it's a hybrid. So a Bruiser with crit items. A heart. Not something we have seen before, I think. <laughs> Did you just get soul killed? By a 40% win rate gangplank? I actually just went to trades. Armor boots OP. Armor boots are too OP. Why is he so scared? I should have flashed if I got hit by that E, like if it dragged me back. Is the fruit still up by any chance? Can I take this? No flash on the gangplank. Oh, bro, what? Just what, man? Okay, I got a kill, so... It's alright, but we should have turned, not do the Herald. Like, he was in here, so we could, like, force him to queue out. But they went for, I think, gangplank? For some reason. Anti-healing feels really nice. Oh, he has the form as well. I think Kane might be pathing top because he has the Herald. Rasa be headed both side. 
Like, I he could actually be going bot right now. I'm gonna keep pushing it in. And he is bot. Bro, so sad he dies every time without getting passive stacks. Herald. And this rune is finally online. Got the scaling advantage as well. Rip off, so I will heal up. But what? He doesn't want to fight. He actually doesn't want to. He's scared of Mayone. Oh, did that tank game power Q? Let's go look for the fruits. We just recently took it, so probably not up. It's not up. But like, we have the prior here. We're still winning CS wise, so that's huge. So we just used this chance to reset. He's pathing topside. He could also be going for Drake, honestly. He is. They just need to hang on until I hit two, two items. Play the Ring King, Sunfire. Would be nice if I get some Mortal Reminder too. I do have a little bit of anti healing. They did nerf it though, so it's not the best, but. A little bit is better than nothing. This rune is so nice. This combination is gonna make you really tanky. I think this build is good if you need another frontline. But also when you can get to abuse play the rune king. So if you can trade a lot. He does not have his... Him yet. I need to watch out for the dive top. There's no ultimate on the Aatrox. Like the Q. Oh man, Hecarim just gets destroyed by Tank Kane. They don't want to, luckily. No. Not. But Hecarim, like, he cannot do anything against Kane, bro. Such a big counter, Red Kane. Like, Hecarim just gets a million times outskilled. But that's also. Oh, actually, both of them are fit, but what is this item? Oh, that's nice. A nice passive, but. Even Shroud. I don't think I've ever seen this item being built this season. Anyone. Okay, good. Watch out, subside for the uh, game. We're still winning CS wise. He still does not have Gold Ringer. I don't know why Kane is 
and without my ultimate, a flash up, too risky to continue fighting. To see him now. Ultimate down again. Start winning the fights now. Recall good. But okay, we see bot lane. I get the kill here. Let's see. I'm gonna yell out. Clean, clean. So I get the tower. Oh, GP dead as well. No mind. Oh, he is. Double flash. Honestly, top lane, you just have to be really patient. Because if you're like in the matchup, they're gonna dive you on the tower. Perma. It's like playing against AD Assassin's mid, except they are not squishy. Push this out and then reset. And... Oh, lucky, I just won. Just denying this guy everything. Right, let's get a ward down here. Break is spawning soon, Akram is not there, so we're probably giving that one up, it seems. That would have been really nice to have though, this is the OP one. Now Sunfire time. Armor. I can move too, I had CP. But the Goldringer. Oh, we gave it up. Sadly, Lucian was also low, man. I think we could have contested this. Hold, hold in, just hold in. Oh, I failed again. Like, he got outsmited quite a lot. No joke. Oh, so sad. What? He altered himself? He altered himself, and he just got a bounty. Did he just get two kills? Howie. Oh, I'm dead. Am I not? Or I survive? I'm fine, I think. I have to run all the way over here, because I don't know when GP all this up. At least that sound. The tank item saved me. Now at least we know we don't want to go for a 50-50 burn smite, because Kane won all of them. I can actually won all the smite fights. Okay. Okay. So four people top. Well, he just constantly also run away. He just used it to run away. Did I just make him go mid? Did I just make him go mid? He does not have ult up. And Eddie Carry got soul killed. Really fun. Okay, we get a tower. Bro, you can man, that sucks he can do that. Oh, 
Oh, so close. Way too close. It sucks that he can still, like, his E will not last as long, but it sucks that he can use that to run away like that. He's still going to kick him out, but he still gets, like, a distance where he can actually dash. Exhaust came in clutch, I think. Q. Close. He's gonna come the Q. Up. Alright, Sunfire is up, so now I'm going to Mortal Reminder. Into Infinity Edge, probably. But now we are tanky, so he's not gonna one-shot us. And that's a fit Vladimir. I want to keep splitting, but I have a feeling this Raven is gonna get caught, as usual. 2 and 7. He has been pretty unlucky this game, to be fair. I'm gonna get a ward down here. Oh, what? Well, hello there. Okay, way too many, way too many, what? W? Okay, that turned out to be pretty worth it. Worth it? I mean, if you use everything on me, you don't have anything left for the fit Vladimir. I don't mind dying like that, if my team can clean up. I'll take it any day, bro. And this Aatrox is in his master promos. Aatrox one trick. So uh, rip his promos. Lost to a filth. Top lane now. Satch. Imagine if he ends up winning now. I doubt it though, because we have Vladimir, it's pretty hard to lose when you're fit with him. It's like being fit with Cassidy. Reset fast please. We do not want to give them this one. We want it. Russo Yone. And Hecarim. We're gonna be such a strong frontline. I'm gonna push this out so somebody comes in defense. Bad fight again. Nice. That was actually a good ult by the Hecarim. Wow. Hopefully a random Nami ult. Does not come out. She might have used it. But man, that was a good hickory mod. So I get the mod to remind us soon. Alright, he can just take it. I get this now. Anti healing. And then I could go into Infinity Edge. Depends. Also, just this sense is really OP against them. So I want to be bot lane right now because the Baron is up, so we want to be on the opposite side of the main objective, which is the Baron right now. Do not. I, they're actually gonna die if they get flanked. Wow. That's a full one-shot Vladimir build. If I keep pushing bot side and force somebody to come. Aatrox is coming. He failed to do his job in the lane. Now he's gonna get destroyed. Good, we have anti-healing here as well. So Vladimir doesn't need to buy it. He can just focus on building full damage because me and the Hecarim has anti-healing.
I what? Oh man, that's so sad. I want to use the ultimate to grab close. I think he flies away in the end. Yeah, GP has armor pen built in. Yeah, well that. GG's, I can just TP in if they don't have F or in before I spawn. And rip Aatrox promos, master promos. And your nade top is so fun because you can fight often. You cannot do that mid lane, you just get perma poked over and over. Oh, finally Slay and got that ultimate in. Let's go. Yes, wrap it up. GG's. The first Jone top game.